let's get a check of our weather. It's 640. I guess the top weather headlines, patchy fog in places, and a cool down this week. Did I pass the test? Uh, there's one more at the end that oh, everybody's man. trying to avoid. Yeah, we're and trying that's to the rain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the rain that's going to make it come back at some point. But the good news is it is going to come over the weekend. I don't expect it to impact many of the daytime hours through the weekend. So that's the silver lining in all of this. The sun beginning to come up over downtown. Looking at fog in a handful of spots, as Frederick said, live over the river right now. You can see that there off in the distance. A temperature of 48 in Macon. Here's what I'm talking about right in here over the Oak Mulgee. You can see some of that low hanging cloud cover. And that's the, kind of the case across central Georgia as we have this dense fog advisory in effect from Taylor County through Crawford, Bibb, Twiggs, Wilkinson, and Washington County, and then points southward. So Perry, Warner Robins over towards Cochran, Dublin, Dexter, McRae, Rochelle, Abbeville, down towards Vidalia, all included in this until about 9 a.m. for visibility down to a quarter mile or less. So maybe allow for just a few extra minutes on the roads this morning. Looking at the current temperatures, we got 40s generally speaking up towards the north and 50s or at least closer to 50 down to the south. 49 in Cochrane, 50 in Unadilla, 51 in Americas, 55 over in Vidalia and 50 in Swainsboro. Meanwhile, it's 43 in Monticello and 46 in Forsyth. There's the radar. Nothing going on across central Georgia and not expecting to see anything today. We've got this cold front back over Mississippi, Louisiana and into the Houston area. That's sliding towards central Georgia and bringing cooler air behind it. Also going to clear the cloud cover out by the time we get to the really tomorrow across central Georgia. We'll really see it. So for today, starting off near that 50 degree mark into the 60s by the noon hour, I think we get into the upper 60s for high temperature today. And honestly, I think we hang on to a lot of the cloud cover through the day today. It's going to be into the night tonight when that cloud cover begins to break, waking up near 40 tomorrow morning before rebounding into the 60s as we get into Tuesday afternoon and then for Wednesday morning back close to 40, but then only making it into the 50s for Wednesday afternoon across central Georgia. You saw future view was clear there through the middle part of the week. It'll be clear through the end of the week as well. No real rain chance that is until we get to Saturday night. I want to emphasize Saturday during the day is going to be OK. It's Saturday night where we're watching this next weather maker move into central Georgia. Widespread rain potentially waking up Sunday morning. The GFS gets it on out of here for Sunday afternoon. The Euro has it linked around for a little while, but again, Saturday afternoon looks mainly OK. These overnight low temperatures going to dip below average as well. 39 is where we should be for this time of year. We'll be down to 30 for Thursday, followed by 34 on Friday morning. So a lot of last week's parades rescheduled to this Saturday. I think we're going to be mainly OK across central Georgia, especially with a lot of them happening during the morning hours, looking for temperatures in the 50s for Saturday morning into the afternoon, getting into the 60s with partly cloudy skies. And if you're thinking about putting up the Christmas lights over the next few days, I've got green lights across the board. I would say go for it. Clear, clear skies there on Tuesday and continue that trend into Wednesday. Hour by hour today into the upper 60s later this afternoon on our way to a high temperature around 69, 63 for tomorrow before we're down to 57 for Wednesday, 58 on Thursday, starting off Thursday morning around 30. That'll be our coldest point over the next seven days. Our wettest point should come Saturday night into Sunday.